Welcome to the Solicam University channel. This video's topic is chamfer recognition. So chamfer recognition allows you to analyze the part or the solid for any faces or any edges that are perpendicular to the z-axis that you would want to add a chamfer to. So the name is a little misleading. You can see that it, uh, I have a chamfer here. It's not gonna recognize that chamfer. It just recognizes where you could add a chamfer. So this is a really good application for deburring, edge breaking, however you want to refer to it. So let's get into it and let's take a look at how that works. So add milling operation, chamfer recognition. Chamfer recognition has a similar workflow to the profile operation in that I'm just gonna go into new geometry. And again, here it's a little different because what we're doing is we're gonna actually, in selection mode, we're gonna look for the solid body. I'm just gonna grab that solid body, analyze it, and you can see that it found all the edges that I could add a chamfer to. These are essentially all the edges of any uh, face perpendicular to the z-axis. Now, you'll notice that chamfer I was talking about, it found the top edge of that chamfer only because that is one of the edges of this flat face, but I don't want that edge there. So I'm gonna jump out of here and jump back in. This time though, I'm gonna say, ignore any floor to wall angles less than 90 degrees. So that being a 45 degree chamfer, it should be ignored. So let's grab that again. You can see that it ignored that chamfer. It grabbed everything else. So some of these chamfers might not be possible. You can see that um, in this edge here, it ignored those because that obviously we can't do a chamfer there. So it's just any exterior edges, much as these ones up here. And you can see that it also stopped shorter there. So let's see how that works. So if we grab those edges for us, we'll click the green check mark. We can always go back and modify. So if there's an edge on there that I didn't want, I can just uncheck that box. We have 3D model protection. So as long as my target is defined, I'll, do, I'll be able to do a gouge check against that. Let's go to tool, select, and we'll select the chamfer tool. In this case, let me just add one really quick. So there's a 3 8 chamfer tool. Levels, we have upper level. So I'm, I'm telling it we'll go from that face. And lower level, I can set it so that it stops at a certain level. So if I leave this blank or um, unchecked and uh, blacked out like that. Basically, it would do any edge that it finds throughout the entire part. So even if it was a really deep po pocket and there's an, an internal edge in that deep pocket. So if I wanna limit the travel of the tool, I can use the lower level. Chamfer depth is an incremental amount from those edges. So that is irrespective of upper level, lower level. That is basically wherever the edge is and then below there, how deep I want it to go. Since I'm gonna kinda do this as an edge break, I'm just gonna put in 5,000. Under technology, it's similar to the chamfer option you would have seen in the, the profile toolpath in that I'm giving it a cutting diameter. So as long as my tool dimensions are input properly, it's gonna analyze along the cone shape of that chamfer where this diameter sits. In this case, I'm gonna say 50,000. It's probably gonna be just closer to the tip. This also means that you don't have to use a single point chamfer mill. You can actually use a flat bottom taper mill. As long as that diameter, the cutting diameter, is larger than the flat bottom tip, then it'll calculate the same diameter. It's looking at it mathematically in terms of a cone more than anything else. Safety offset is how close it will get to any walls or any obstacles. So in this case, we're probably gonna see that 5,000 taking, taking uh, control when it gets closer to that corner over there because obviously, it needs to avoid colliding with that wall. If you needed to add any step downs, you can add them here. If you needed to do any, any uh, overlaps or anything, again, it's very similar to the profile toolpath. Under link, we have control over lead and lead out. Again, similar to the profile toolpath. Let me just do a save and calculate. And we can see that the toolpath is going all over the place to do these chamfers. One thing to notice is, again, like I mentioned, the toolpath stopped short of gouging that wall right there. And it ignored our chamfer that we machined there. So again, very similar to the chamfer operation inside the profile toolpath, except here it did a auto selection for us. Any questions of this or anything else from SolidCamp, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. Any questions? or uh, any parts you want to send us, use the ticket system at solidcansupport.com or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.